Hi, I'm Patty Kim from The Green Guide for Houdini. As long as you've got appliances in your home, you're eventually going to be faced with a choice. Something breaks, now what? In general, if you can get it fixed, keeping your refrigerator or washing machine out of the landfill for another couple of years might be the wiser environmental choice even if the appliance is not the most energy efficient model. But from a price perspective, here's a good rule of thumb. If the cost to repair a household appliance is more than half the price of a new product, you're better off buying a new one because advances in energy efficiency mean the newer machines will generally save you more money in the long run. Let's start with the refrigerator. If you need to make repairs on an older fridge, it's probably worth getting a new one instead. New refrigerators consume up to 75% less energy than those made before 2001. When you buy a new fridge, opt for a top freezer model rather than a side-by-side -side and make sure it's ENERGY STAR certified. A new refrigerator should then last you about 14 years. Replacing older dishwashers is also a good idea. Newer models use less hot water, have energy efficient motors, and use sensors to determine the length of the wash cycle, making ENERGY STAR models 25% more efficient than the minimum federal standards. Now, when you shop for a new dishwasher, choose one with a light wash or energy saving cycle and expect to hang on to it for about nine years. Here's something you might not know. It's not a good idea to hand wash your dishes as an alternative to running the dishwasher because you'll generally use more hot water in the sink. When the dryer breaks, fixing is probably better than ditching. A dryer's average life cycle is about 13 years, and as long as it has a moisture sensor, and most of them do, it functions at about the same efficiency as current models. When it's time to buy a new dryer, look for one with the sensor in the drum as opposed to in the exhaust vent. It'll shut off a little sooner and save slightly more energy. However, since dryers consume large amounts of energy, line drying or hanging your clothes on a rack is really the greenest option. If there's any question about whether to ditch or fix your washing machine, consider replacement first, especially if you've got a top-loading washer. Top loaders use a lot more water than new front-loading machines. Look for one with the ENERGY STAR label on the front. Might cost a little more, but these models circulate clothes in a shallower pool of water, use less water and heat, and save you money in the long run. And now to the hot water heater. If your unit's electric, you can probably cut down in energy use by about 50% just by switching to a high efficiency gas model. Now, if you've already got a gas system, you're not in the clear just yet. It all depends on how old it is because older gas systems may also need to be replaced because although they generally last about 25 years, they get a lot less energy efficient as time wears on. So if your gas hot water heater is more than 10 years old, it probably deserves to be ditched. What you wanna do is look for something called a demand or tankless system. And all that means is that the water that's circulated is going through a large coil and heated only when needed. Although Energy Star doesn't certify these models, the government estimates they use up to 60% less energy when you compare them to the standard minimum efficiency heaters. And all of that is gonna save you some money, up to about $1,800 a year. You've seen what running your air conditioner can do to your electric bill, so you know it's using a lot of energy in the summer months. When the air conditioning fails, if the appliance is older than 10 years, ditch before you fix. And that goes for both window units and central air conditioners. And a final note, remember that when you're getting rid of old appliances, you really need to know what your community requires for their disposal. Because of the coolants used, old window air conditioners need to be disposed of in hazardous waste facilities. Old central air compressors are usually disposed of by the contractor hired to install the new one, but that's something you can always ask about ahead of time. I'm Patty Kim from The Green Guide for Howdini.